Yeah, do you see all that mud? That is Nathan's doing. We just took this 3.5 liter EcoBoost off-road and you got to drive it. That's right, this is the brand new 2015 Ford F-150. It's got an aluminum body and it's the FX4 package, great for off-road. And check out this video as Nathan puts it through its paces. You are the off-road man. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are in the new F-150 and Ford was kind enough to set up an off-road course for us. And we've got uh, Pat Gibson here, a Ford engineer, to kind of, uh, what are you here for Pat? What are you going to tell us? I, I'm here at the off-road course today to uh, accompany you guys and, and we're going to show some of the characteristics and capabilities of the new F-150 when you take it off-road. Right now it's in two high, so I should probably put it at least in a four high, right? I would put it in four high. That's what I recommend for okay. this course. The, right this up. is a, a slow course that, that taxes the suspension uh -huh. and, and the stiffness of, of the frame. And Which is more rigid than the one it replaces, if I'm correct. And it's 70 pounds lighter on the frame and overall around 700 pounds savings with the aluminum. Yes, and, and this, this type of configuration, which is more common. Now we're in the FX4 here. Yeah. Which is the off-road package. Yeah. What, what does that entail? What does the FX4 get you off-road wise that the normal F-150 would not? It gives you the shocks and, and, and springs for the off-road. It um, gives you un un underbody shields for um, traveling over rocks and, and unexpected obstacles that you might end up. Is there a different gearing or a um, locking rear diff? Or It looks like there's a electric you can, you can locking. Get, you can get the locking rear diff, which, which this truck has. There's, there's no difference in gearing on, on the transmission. Now I noticed that uh, you have uh, a different set of gauge clusters there. It gives you off-road status. Yes. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it'll, it'll give you the yaw, it'll give you the pitch of the vehicle. Now one of the cool features I can show you right now, and that's why we chose this truck, is check this out, guys. It's a round view 360 camera, which is on the right. Okay, and you can get different views. There's the 360 view. Yeah, there so, you go. And away we go. And away we go. All right, let's go follow them. Now, obviously, Ford isn't the first to do that. I've seen that same thing done on. Uh, Nissan was one of the first companies yes. to, to do it, and they do you know, their Infinities and now BMW is using it. And you know, within reason, I would imagine it's just one of the smartest things you can do. Yeah. And it's a very simple technology in terms of what you're actually doing. So you have cameras embedded in the mirrors on the bottom side. You have one in the front and one in the back. And what you do is you're shooting the terrain, and then there's software that takes that image and changes it so it's relative to what you're doing and it basically makes it look like a bird is flying over you and looking down on you bird's eye view yeah yeah range rover does it too it's really cool it helps for seeing obstacles that normally might not be seen and nathan if you can keep up with that guy we yeah some video. yeah i know we're gonna bounce around a little bit more a little bit a little bit more <laughs> there we go there he goes <laughs> there he goes <laughs> it's funny um I love trucks off-road. They're one of my favorite off-road tools because, of course, manufacturers like to say this is the biggest tool in the uh, toolbox. And Which is funny because we're really the two biggest tools. We are. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just the two of us. Not Just the two of us. Not you. Yeah, we're, not, we're not including oh. Ford engineers in that. <laughs> this truck also has still the same boat. Oh yeah, let me hit that for you. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, it's doing it. 
And you just, so I've got my foot off the brake, and whoa, and away we go. You just shut it off. Thank sorry, you, sorry. Roman. Okay. See, I can't keep up with him if you leave it on. Okay, I'll turn it off. There you go. Oh, we got a mud bog here. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love me some mud. The FX4 package, we played with this before and we've never had any problems with it. And being that our long-term test vehicle in Colorado is the Raptor, we definitely know that Ford knows how to do off-road. So that is indeed the truth. But while we're on this course, a lot of this really does feel like it's challenging for the suspension. It doesn't really feel like it's any issue for the engine. There's nothing, no hardcore off-road going uphill you know, pulling anything or having to surmount any massive boulders. Right now we're going over some pretty good sized logs. So Pat, when's the Raptor coming? I don't know the, the timing for, for the Raptor. You can put him on the spot. <laughs> you just use an evil man. Of course, that's my job. I'll give you the answer if I don't. All right, Bill. I'll let, tell let, you the best all answer. right, let me try it another way. Okay. Is it true the Raptor's not coming this year? <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew the answer to that. <laughs> oh, we got a nice little descent here, Nathan. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is more like it. This yeah. is what I wanted to see. Yeah, there you go. This is actually a pretty good little off road course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Look at this. Cool. <laughs> right through the river. I love going through rivers you too. River. You gotta have a yeah, river to go through. Yeah, proper river crossing. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Good splash. Go through a little mud bank right here. Nice. Truck seems to have no issues with it. No issues at I, all. I noticed that it had different tires on it. Did you notice that, Nathan? Yes, I did. I think that comes with the FX4 package, though, doesn't it? I'm not sure. I think these are special tires. Well, we got a Ford Expert course. in the back. You know, Pat? These, these are regular tires. These are not off road tires for this course. These are FX4 tires. Okay. So this, oh, this is. What? Right. <laughs> so this is a standard uh, setup, right? Yes, it is. There, there's nothing special done to any of these five vehicles we're using today. All right. All right. Here, Roman, I'll try to take it easy over these. Yeah, take it easy over these or my back is going to... Yeah. I tweaked my back this weekend, oh. so I'm a Understood. little... I'm a little uh, He's lifting 500 pounds of dead weight over his head, <laughs> like he does on every workout. <laughs> That's my weekend yeah. workout. I, yeah. I do a lot of deadlifting and a lot of squats. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Yeah, so that's what happened. You can feel the skid plate definitely getting a little test on that. Uh, you know, it's a pickup truck, so... Yep. The um, breakover angle is always going to be an issue unless you have it jacked up to the sky, which nobody really does. You know, I'd say this is on par with the Toyota Tundra with its um, TRD Pro package. TRD Pro, you go up that high, huh? Yeah, I think really? so. Yeah. Well, because the TRD Pro, really, the the one thing that package has that gives it superiority over a lot of trucks is its overall suspension package, right? Right. But this one, even though it's not the heavy duty one, it feels like it's just as, you know, in the same ballpark. It definitely, you know, obviously it's not up to the Raptor level. Yeah, there are basically three levels of truck, right? There's a standard truck, mm -hmm. there's the off-road version of that, which mm -hmm. is uh, in, in the Toyota, it's the TRD, yeah. right? And then there's the ultra off-road, which in Ford's case would be the Raptor. And I think that TRD Pro kind of falls in between. But This and the Raptor? Okay. The articulation's pretty close. I mean, maybe the... Uh, it, it, I have to do it back-to-back to, back to know for sure. But I can tell you this. Very competent. And because it's so light, and it really is light, it doesn't really feel like it's, it's struggling to go over the hills. The older F-150, when it was going over hills and whatnot, yep. you really had to get into the throttle in order to get it to spool up in order for it to get over a hill. This is just dancing. It just has no problem. Yeah, it... Um it is amazing what less weight does. It, it helps everything. It helps towing. It helps off-road ability. It helps. Uh, it helps even changing the tire when you get a flat. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. I mean, you know, it's it's little things like that, and 
you know, obviously Ford has found a novel way to attack not only getting better MPG and better use of power, but also making a vehicle that it's a lot easier to control. Well, Nathan, you're taking this like a champ, so... It's, 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 I mean, it's it's a little challenging, but it's really... It's, it's This truck doesn't have a problem. That's why I'm saying I think that the uh, Tundra TRD Pro is a pretty much dead match for this truck right now. Well, in terms of cost, we don't have a sticker in here, so we don't no, know. there's no sticker in so uh, The last one we drove, the King Ranch, with all the bells and whistles... Was 62. $62,000. So, uh... I this one's... Yes, uh, this is not as expensive. It doesn't have as many bells and whistles. I'm gonna assume less than 62. <laughs> this little window. I'm trying to open this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, this oh, yeah, the double skylight. That's incredible. Look at how huge that is, guys. Yeah, you should take the camera and uh, show everybody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is just immense. It is, that is the... One of the largest uh, sunroofs out of any pickup truck I've seen. Does that back open too? Yeah, the shade opens. You yeah. get the shade up next to the. Uh, this one? Oh, look at that one? Yeah, look at that. I'll take your word for it. Oh my god, that is. Oh, it's, it's, it's almost like we're sitting in a convertible. I know. I, it, the whole roof opens up. That's going to be a new uh, uh, first for trucks as well to have something that large. We need it on our next truck, Roman, so we can just stick a camera out there, right? Well, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you can just pop out of there, and, and if there are elephants out here... And we need a turret. <laughs> yeah, a, a, a turret. turret. And a gazelle. This and is if Texas. You were, yeah. If you were hunting, which we are in Texas, right? It's a place where people go hunting. You could, you could just, you know, shoot out of that uh, opening. My God. And I'm deliberately taking this a little slower than I should. Yeah. So I'm not using any real momentum. I'm just using the power of the truck and... It it's doesn't care. It doesn't care. It does not care. Yeah. So far, so good. Mirror is a good size, too, by the way. Something I've noticed. I like this. I mean, in terms of an all around sized mirror, yeah. I like these. Let's go back to the round camera view. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Now you can see what you're doing. It only works up to five miles per hour. That's, nice. That's why it turned off. Okay. Uh huh. There, but there is something really super cool on the backup cam, which is on many of the F-150s nowadays. It's yeah. not just on the 360 camera thing. And that is, there's a center point that you can actually control with the steering wheel. It's a black dotted line, and it lets you line up where your ball hitch is versus where your um, the trailer is, right? So you're able to back it up directly to it and really have an accurate approximation of where that is. So that's really cool stuff. So as you turn the wheel and you're heading backwards, you can look on your screen, and you actually see this black line turn right and that's the line you follow to get your hitch to your trailer it's very cool stuff well Nathan nice work <laughs> it's a piece of cake pokey, huh yep uh, the Ford guys are getting this back a little dirtier than when they gave it to us yes a little dirtier <laughs> <laughs> just dirt. <laughs> it's just, just dirt. dirt it'll wash off yep yep <laughs> no no dead animals no dents for once yeah so we're good Now, Nathan, we didn't get this on camera, but I got to drive it, too, and I'm impressed. It's not as good as a Raptor. No, Bob, no. Because we had that long-term Raptor, but it is very impressive. Completely stock. That's right. You know, you have to look at this as in terms of what it is, and it is a lighter vehicle with a really good engine, and frankly speaking, it just did great off-road. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Saying thanks for watching, and check out TFLTruck.com. For news, views, and real-world reviews. Yeah, we got to go drive this off-road more. Hell yeah. <laughs>3.5 liter V6 twin turbocharged EcoBoost. So why do we pick the 3.5 six cylinder and compare it to the eights? Because in terms of overall performance, it is comparable to those engines. And that is coming up next on the Fastlane Truck.